Welcome everyone, once again to Life on Resource. Easter is fast approaching, so let's have a look at what's coming up this month. We'll be dropping in on the team down at Five Lakes and asking them today's most pressing questions like, what's your favorite Easter egg? At Hopton on Sea, we'll be walking with dinosaurs. We'll join Josie, the Potter's Theatre Company dance captain down at Five Lakes, as she puts the team through their last minute rehearsals before that night show. And we'll get to see it all come together that night in the Glade Theatre as the Potter's Theatre Company perform Cool Britannia. And if that wasn't enough, we'll be twitching with Gemma. That's bird watching to you and I. We'll get some exercise with our Nordic walkers and much more. So much to fit in, so we better get going with this month's Life on Resorts. And please stay with us to the very end of this episode. We'll end with a tribute to a very special man. Now, you may already know that we have a brand new brochure out, but if you haven't got a copy and you'd like one, then just head over to the website and look for the orange button at the top. The brochure tells you everything you could want to know about both resorts and there are dates in 2024 now available. So just pop over to pottersholidays.com, click on the orange button, and we'll send you a copy. Whichever resort you choose to visit, whether it's Hopton-on-Sea or Five Lakes, you are guaranteed quality time together. Which is exactly what I had when I caught up with the team down at Five Lakes in the heart of Essex. We see something truly unique to Five Lakes, the indoor sports park. Not only can you play bowls, badminton, table tennis, darts, snooker, pool and so much more, there are many fun games that anybody can play. Challenging but fun games for everyone. Come rain or shine, there is always plenty to do in the sports park. And it was here I caught up with Lauren, Shane and Sue to ask them what they were looking forward to most about the upcoming Easter breaks and more importantly, what's their favourite Easter egg? Okay, Sue, Mother and Sunday, where are you going to be? At work! What, all day? All day this year. Why? Because I'm day off today and tomorrow. No, okay. tomorrow and the next day even. Have you not spoken to the head of entertainment to Hello. Why, you're, um, why you've got to work both days? No, why are you working both days? Well, George has got a party on Saturday because it was his birthday the other day. Oh, you missed the shot? Yeah, oh, so, the hang, shot. On, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. You just ran up and put that there, Lauren. Lauren, where are you going to be, oh. Mother and Sunday? I'm going to be here at work, here okay. at Five Lakes. I have given my mum her present a week in advance. What did you give her? Um, chocolate, because it's her birthday that next week as well, so then I have to give her something uh, different. Uh, oh. birthday, then. Sue, favourite Easter egg? It's got to be mini eggs. Oh, okay. Why? Because you get more eggs than one? Yes. Favourite Easter egg? I love a cream egg. You've got to take the top off and just take out the middle. Yeah, but they're small. Yeah, but you can have a few of them. Get the little six packs. Can you imagine what they would do if they made a giant... They so egg. should. They My should. favourite Easter egg is a Smarties Easter egg. Because oh. when you break it, you've got all Smarties inside and I love it. Smarties. Oh. Yeah. And where are you going to be on Mothering Sunday, Shane? I'm, to, I'm actually taking my mum out for a surprise, I okay. can't say. Favourite Easter egg? Favourite Easter egg? Oh, Malteser, 100%. Oh, my favourite Easter egg, you know, that really thick one, the massive one with the fruit and nut in the egg? No. Oh, it's a dream. So the whole no, egg no, is no, actually no. fruit and nut. And you That's can eat disgusting. it, it's like a fruit and nut bar, but giant egg size. Absolutely not. Love it. Okay, where are you going to be, where are you going to be Mother's Day? Oh, Mother's Day. It's my first Mother's Day at my oh, house. So yeah, I've just had a little baby seven oh. weeks ago. Oh, and Adele okay, is of course you have. Mother's Congratulations. Day. Thank you. So okay. uh, we're actually going to London for it. Oh, so you? yeah, taking her to London. Oh, we're going for a nice meal with baby as well. So what's the best thing about Easter for you? Chocolate. 
Really? Oh, yeah. What's the best thing about Easter at a Potter's Resort? <laughs> Plenty of fun and games and lots of activities. This is the first Easter for Five Lakes. Yes, it is, yes. Yeah? So yes. what can we expect different? A lot of extra special activities. Oh, oh dear. Favourite Easter egg? Anything you... galaxy or lint. Ooh. Particularly lint bunny. Lint bunny or lint teddy bear. Lint, they're not very big though, are they? Or do they do a big one? I just have to have more than one. Okay. <laughs> Although, at the petrol station, they are selling bigger ones for £50. Okay, we'll put a call out there if anyone quid. would like to. 50 quid for a massive lint bunny, it's like this big. Oh, but you don't so get anything it. in the lint bunny? No. But Whereas an Easter egg often comes with an in... No? No, they are hollow. Yeah. I mean, I'm all mini for egg the ones do. That's what I go yeah. for. A mini, mini egg. egg. You get your cup. With yeah. mini eggs as well. Yeah. yeah. So okay. you get your mini egg egg. A mini egg 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 egg. egg, 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 egg. Then the cup with it that's covered with a picture of a mini egg. Yeah. And then the mini eggg's inside it's the cup. It's the gift that never it's, stops. Should living. I be? I'm and partial then, to a cream egg. I like a cream egg. Well, a little mm. cream egg. Yeah. Can you imagine if they did a big them. cream egg? Well, we've actually been we've raiding <laughs> the pop in shop because they've now got cream eggs. Yeah, but. Imagine a giant Easter egg size cream egg. I think I haven't YouTube that because you can make them. What you open it up I've, and I've it's YouTubed full it. of. Mm -hmm. Do you remember the advert? How do people eat yours? Yeah. yeah. And she's like, I have mine with chips. chips. I don't eat mine with chips. Time now to catch up with Gemma, who's doing a bit of twitching. Hi, I'm Gemma. I'm part of your entertainment team here at Five Lakes, and we've got a brand new activity coming to both resorts from this Easter. We've got some absolutely beautiful grounds at both resorts and why not enhance those walks and especially if you're a budding twitcher, you can take part in our Earn Your Wings activity. Simply go to the pop-in shop, borrow a pair of these fantastic binoculars, they'll also give you a spotting sheet. As you go round on your walk, you can make note of everything that you see. That outfit Gemma's wearing isn't compulsory, by the way. I've even spotted a woodpecker. And is that? Yep. It's definitely a tit. I'm not saying anything. Well done, Gemma. She nailed it first time. Hi, I'm Gemma. I, I'm doing that again. Or third. And it's night out. We've got some absolutely beautiful grounds at both resorts. And why not enhance your walks? If you're a budding twitcher, then you can take part in your Earn Your Wings activity. Simply go to the pop-in shop, borrow some of these fantastic binoculars. They'll also give you a sheet and you can go round and sprite it up. Wow, that was going so well. <laughs> Competition. Oh. <gasps> oh, oh she's not on the table though. Pressure, pressure. Too far. Oh. Too far. What are you looking forward to about Easter more than anything else? Just the chocolate. It's all about chocolate. Just the chocolate. Cho it's all about chocolate with you people, is isn't there, it? Is there an chocolate. Easter bunny here? Is there an Easter bunny? Is someone might dressing be. up as... It might be. Did you believe in the Easter bunny? Absolutely. For how yes, long? Do. How yeah. There is the Easter bunny, isn't there? Absolutely. He brings Easter eggs, doesn't he? No, no, you... Like Santa. Santa. Emily, where are you going to be? Well, my mum doesn't know yet, but I am taking her to the War of the World experience oh, nice. in London. Is there any chance she might enjoy that? Well, does she like not. War of the Worlds? She does, and it reminds but her you of like her it, mum. Don't you, Emily? I love it. Oh, this that, is where you're going. It reminds her of her mum, and I thought it'd be like sentimental. Oh, uh, but I'm now thinking that that's lovely. She might be traumatised. Why does it okay. remind her of her mum? Because she's lovely. She's played every Sunday morning while she did the hoovering. Oh. And <laughs> Mother's Day on Sunday. Yes. So you're both here. Yes. No. You going home? I'm going home. Oh. I'm going to see my mummy. Oh. I'll be here. Mum's going to be here. Oh, that's She's brilliant. With her friends. Oh, that's a happy ending then. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So I get to spend it with her. So where's home for you? Um, I'm in Basildon. Forty minutes. Yeah. Gemma. I live in Stanway, so just down the road. But my mum's in Dunmo, so about an hour away. So how, have you got any time off on Sunday? No. So she's just going to see you work? Nine to five, <laughs> but I'm allowed to hopefully have Happy dinner Mother's with her. Day, Mum. Hopefully We're gonna I go can for have dinner. dinner in the restaurant. Oh, you're going to eat? Yeah. She's booked in? Yeah, she's booked in. She's with her friends. Right. Oh, she's in the whole weekend, weekend. she? So, yeah. Oh, okay. So she gets to see you work. She gets to have lunch with <laughs> you. Like and you get your evenings together. 
So you're coming in to watch a sh in the theatre that night? Or? Okay. Yeah. When her mum comes, she always brings us chocolates. She does. Oh, I'm not here. Oh. Save me. Save me some. <laughs> bring some. Yeah, okay. mum brings everyone chocolate. So That's what are we true. doing special for Easter, though? Anything on the cards? That would be telling. Yeah, you have to right. look everyone to find out. Everyone does that. You've got to come to find out. Yeah. Have a good Easter. Thank you. Thank you so Happy much. Easter. Lovely to see you. Lovely to see you. <laughs> Happy Mother's Day. Enjoy Happy London. Thank you very much. Thank Enjoy you. War of the Worlds. Thank, Thank you. So you have a good Easter. Today. Not everybody wants to appear on camera, though. Some people are shy. <laughs> Paparazzi. Paparazzi. Oh. <laughs> look, look. This is this is how we're in there. Look, look. Ready? Okay. So, do you think? <laughs> Do you oh honestly? God, what are you no. eating? What are you eating there? What are you eating? What do you got? What you got? What you got? Share with that. Share with that. Is it you still that's a chocolate? What have no you got? Pap. What have you got? You got a gobful? Show us. <laughs> <laughs>
Susie. Um, no. Susie. <laughs> You'd normally follow Susie. Susie Q will show you the way. Um, uh, we'll These rehearsals allow the team to get on stage, perform with microphones, lights, and of course, the giant LED wall. When rehearsals are over, the room is prepared for the evening guests and just look how good the Glade Theatre looks. A great night of entertainment lies ahead and the first treat is to listen to the beautiful voice of Emily. Come round the hidden pine trails of the forest Come taste the sunsweet berries of the earth Come roll in all the riches all around you They are for once Never wonder what they're worth. The rain storm and the rivers are my brothers. The heron and the archers are my friends. And we are all connected to each other in a circle, in a hoop that never ends. And before you know it, it's showtime. it wouldn't be Potters without a good old sing-along to end the break.
It's a great moment of the night when the Polis Theatre Company wait outside the theatre doors and many guests take the time to thank them for a whole week of amazing shows. It's a real opportunity for our lovely guests to meet the friendly team and let them know how much the entertainment has meant to them that week. Entertainment has always played a huge part in a Potter's Break. It always will. And these young performers are just the latest of many to have graced our stage and entertained generations of guests. They stand on the shoulders of others who have come before them. And those shoulders don't come much broader than this next fella. We end this episode with a tribute to a very special man. Mr. Johnny Cleveland, who sadly passed away recently, and our thoughts are with his family at this incredibly sad time. JC has been part of our family here at Potters for longer than most of us can remember, and we will miss his incredible talent, his warmth, his kindness, and above all else, his sense of humor. There was no one really quite like JC, both on stage and off, a funny, lovable man. I spend so many evenings out uh, playing with my, my little organ, I, I don't get, I really get a chance to watch it. You never knew with Johnny whether he was telling you a true story or there was a punchline just waiting around the corner. He was admired, respected and loved by his peers and the guests alike. And as an entertainer, he would never forgive us for making this tribute melancholy. So we will remember him as he was and as he will remain in our hearts. He's going to play it, sing and make you laugh. And that's the only way we can describe him. But in actual fact, that's going to turn out to be the understatement of the year. So get yourselves ready for something quite special and welcome with a big round of applause, Johnny Cleveland. Sally. Harold Arland, who wrote Over the Rainbow, had any idea how much impact it would have over the years. You'll hear the tune more than once today, but I'd like to play a few bars just to point out a little known fact. middle bit for the song. He tried things like, um, but he didn't like that, uh, or things like, he didn't like that either. But luckily enough, a fire engine went past. Can you imagine the fire engine? He thought that's it. It doesn't get any better than that. My mother used to play piano, and as a small boy, I used to sing this song. You won't have heard of it. In fact, nobody's heard of it except me. You can look it up online, but I doubt whether you'll find it. But it's a great little song. I don't mind being all alone when I'm all alone with you. I tried hard to find You make all my dreams come true In a crowd I feel mighty proud But when you're not there I'm lonely I don't mind Being all alone When I'm all alone While I was singing my mum used to sing harmony She'd be doing this bit I don't mind Being all alone when I'm all alone with you you're, you're the kind I try hard to find You make all my dreams come true Back to the tune 
tune Hear the crowd, I feel mighty proud But when you're not there, I'm lonely I don't mind being all alone my dad that taught us harmony he used to say how many more damn times are you going to sing that song with your mother I love those tunes I'm old fashioned, I'm old thank you for listening Johnny Cleveland over and out